Hi, my name is Mike Whitmire and the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the Cassini C650 Astroterrestrial Refracting Telescope. I'm also going to walk you through the assembly process, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the box and take out your instructions. On page 3 of the instructions, you'll see a listing of accessories. You'll, there'll be an accessory box inside the master carton. Just, just check and make sure all the accessories that are listed on, on this page are also in that box. Then I would like for you to go to page 5, and on page 5 you'll see an outline of the telescope. And it will, it will describe all the different parts and, and features of the telescope. It will help familiarize you with the C650 before you actually start to set it up. Now, that said, the C650 is a refracting telescope. It has glass lenses, multi-coated uh, uh, 50 millimeter objective, but it's designed for children. It's designed for that youngster from the ages of, let's say, 5 to 10 or 11. Uh, it'll give very clear images of the Saturn and the moon and on things on the ground, but it's not intended for adults. It's intended to uh, have something for the kids who want to share the good times that mom, dad, grandma, grandpa is having out there with their big scope. Okay, so when you open the box, you're going to see a, a, a container called the uh, tripod. The tripod's going to come out like this, simply extend the legs. Tighten the collars, just like I'm doing here. Very simple. Extend them all the way. Snug the collars. Expand your tripod and set it down. That's all there is to setting up the tripod. Next thing I want you to do is open up the box that says OTA. OTA means optical tube assembly. That's actually the telescope. Like I said, it's a refractor. So you've got a, you have a 50 millimeter objective lens, multi-coated, that's why it's green. The light's gonna come in here and be projected out of the focuser here. To mount the uh, OTA to the tripod, you simply remove this little knob, you set it down on top of the tripod and replace the knob just like that. Now don't over tighten the knob because you wanna be able to move the telescope left and right. As far as moving the telescope up and down, your connecting knobs on the side of the telescope here can be tightened or loosened depending about on how um, rigid you would like to make this movement. Next thing I want you to do is take the Mars Eye Electronic Finder Scope. Now on our website, cosmosoptics.com, you will see a video where I will walk you through aligning the Mars eye to the telescope tube itself. Now this is very important because you want the red dot that you'll see when looking through the Mars eye to be looking at the same thing your telescope is looking through at the same time. So what you want to do is just loosen these connecting as you see over here on our screen. You put them on your dovetail mount here and then you just simply tighten it up. It's that simple. So now you have the Mars Eye mounted to the uh, OTA. The next thing you want to do is you want to take out your diagonal mirror. Now your diagonal mirror is, is pretty neat because what it's going to do, it's going to enable the images um, that you see on Earth to be seen right side up. Normally in telescopes when you look up into the sky the images are upside down. Well this being an astroterrestrial telescope will make those right side up, upside down images right side up. So just take your diagonal mirror, put it in your focuser back here, and tighten the set screw on the focuser itself. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to your eyepieces. Now you're going to get two eyepieces. You're going to get a 6 millimeter eyepiece, and you're going to get a 20 millimeter eyepiece. All right? The 20 millimeter eyepiece is going to give you 30 power. And this is the one that I want you to start with. It's going to give you a wider field of view and a brighter image. So you just take the eyepiece, you put it in the diagonal mirror, and you tighten the set screw just like that. Just like it shows you in our video over here. Okay? 
Now, the six millimeter eyepiece is going to give you 100 power. This is going to be your most powerful eyepiece, but refrain from using this until um, you get more familiar using the 20 and, and how the focusing goes in and out and, and uh, the field of view until you become more familiar with the telescope itself. Like I said, it's a refracting telescope, and as you can see, you have a lens here. The light comes through this lens, goes down your uh, telescope tube, and is passed out your eyepiece here. Because it's passed through glass, that's where the name refractor comes from. By the way, the inside of this tube is all sprayed with flat black paint, which is going to cut down the reflection. Now, just because I started this video out telling you it's designed for children, it's not a toy. Uh, it's, a, it's a very well-made instrument just designed for younger kids, okay? But the images you're going to see are all color corrected, and it's a great first scope for any child who has uh, astronomical ambitions. The last thing I have for you is the Cassini Planetarium CD-ROM. This is going to bring the sky up over any city, worldwide, anytime in the future, in the past, or even tonight, and you're going to be able to see that sky over your head tonight on the CD-ROM. This is great for when you go out there and you see something that you don't know what it is, you can come in and you can uh, locate it. So that's a heck of a good uh, educational tool for the youngster as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions regarding your Cassini telescope, Please log on to CosmoOptics.com and go to our customer service. Drop us a note and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible.